and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. NASA is heading back to the moon, but this time it's not at the controls. Private companies built and operate both the rocket and spacecraft. If successful, it will be the first commercial lunar landing, a seismic shift that could cut the cost of space exploration. This is the beginning of the dawn of a new era for the surface of the moon and how we think about space. This is an opportunity for commercial payloads to fly to the surface of the moon on a regular routine basis. That means our nation's scientists, our world scientists, can access the moon in ways never before possible. NASA paid the startup Astrobotic $108 million to take five science experiments to the moon. It's a fraction of the cost of launching its own mission. Private rocket companies have already made it far cheaper and easier to put satellites in orbit. NASA now hopes that involving commercial enterprises will lead to the same revolution for lunar exploration. The UK's Open University helped build one of the experiments, an instrument for studying water molecules in the moon's incredibly thin atmosphere. A commercial mission has brought a new way of working. There is a greater appetite for risk, and that allows us to be more agile, to do things more quickly, to um, develop systems which are more adventurous, more bold, because there's an understanding that that's what we're doing. Let's go to the moon. But the science experiments are being carried alongside more controversial cargo, including a marketing stunt by the manufacturer of a sports drink and a capsule containing cremated human remains, a payload that has angered indigenous Americans who regard the moon as sacred. NASA's not responsible, but it's awkward. Historically, there has been political pressure on them to democratize access to space. But again, there's this underside then that I think you need to think about in terms of whether or not we're com comfortable with advertising being done on the moon, issues around sustainability. Landing on the moon is a challenge to come. An Israeli company tried and failed, but success for Peregrine in six weeks' time will be a giant leap for commercial space travel. Thomas More, Sky News.